Hey everyone, welcome to this lightning talk on using Orgo workflows to curate chaos engineering with Litmus Chaos. This is Sarna and I work at Harness at Senior Software Engineer and I'm also one of the core contributors to Litmus Chaos. So to start off with, first of all, we need to know what is resilience. So resilience is basically a system's ability to sustain a fault and bring itself back up. Uh, let's say a pod gets evicted from the node. Uh, so what is its state? Is it uh, healthy or not? So it is healthy, then it is resilient. So uh, the period, the time period between going down and bringing itself back up is called uh, resilience. Then uh, moving ahead, downtimes are expensive, not just in terms of money, but also there are uh, other aspects as well. The secondary factors which are equally important as money, that is uh, some of them are loss of customer confidence, damage to brand integrity, uh, loss of employee morale and a lot of others. So uh, keeping all these factors in mind, we definitely don't want to, we definitely want to avoid downtimes at any cost. So one of the uh, way to achieve this is adopting the practice of chaos engineering so with that i would like to introduce chaos engineering which is the process of testing a distributed computing system uh, by uh, injecting fault intentionally so the goal here is to identify the weaknesses in the application uh, through control uh, control experiments and uh, like and check and check if uh, it can sustain it can withstand an uh, unexpe unexpected behavior or not so yeah so how it is done uh, first of all you need to identify the steady state conditions steady state conditions is the desired behavior of the application uh, in a given uh, scenario when it is healthy so first of all you identify the uh, identify them then you uh, introduce the fault intentionally and then you check whether the slos are continued to be met or not if yes then it's uh, well and good uh, and if it uh, if it's a no then uh, we can fix the fix the issues and then come back and the this uh, we can continue the same cycle again and again so yeah moving ahead uh, with that uh, we can uh, introduce litmus chaos which is an open source cloud native chaos engineering framework and it also has the cr uh, cross cloud support as well and it is now a cncf incubating project with a, with uh, adoption with uh, across several organizations and its uh, main mission is to help sres and developers to find weaknesses in both kubernetes and non kubernetes um, applications as well so lastly, I would like to talk about why we shifted to Orgo workflows in Litmus 2.0. So before that, uh, I can talk about uh, what was happening in Litmus 1.0, the first version. So uh, in Litmus 1.0, uh, the Kios injection was basically done by just applying this uh, Litmus CRDs such as like uh, the Kios engineering, uh, sorry, the Kios experiment manifest and all the other components. We just did a kubectl apply of this uh, of these manifests and um, there was no proper visualization and uh, it was only one experiment at a time the chaos injection was done only one experiment at a time so uh, keeping all these facts in mind we decided to integrate orgo workflows uh, with uh, litmus chaos and uh, these are some of the features uh, the main reasons uh, why we decided uh, why we chose orgo workflows uh, we can define uh, workflows where each step in the workflow is a container so as i said earlier a kios injection was done only one experiment at a time we can execute only one kios experiment but uh, with this uh, we can have multiple kios experiments spun together as a one single workflow which is considered as a chaos scenario so each chaos experiment can be a, a, a single container then uh, second uh, second point moving on to the second point uh, proper visualization of workflow uh, the chaos scenario can be done using a graph so that is also provided by orgo then uh, next is individual template in the chaos workflow can be tuned independently like we can tune each and uh, each individual template without affecting the whole uh, chaos uh, scenario uh, the whole workflow and then sequence of steps can be changed as per the requirements such as like uh, let's say you added uh, experiment one uh, first and then you added experiment two but later you decided you want to alter the uh, sequence so you can uh, like we can also do that uh, with orgo uh, you can f put move the experiment two uh, in the first so that can be done and lastly it, this is also one of the important features that is um, uh, the experiments can be run in both parallel or in sequential manner which was not there in litmus 1.0 
so uh, yeah so these are some of the important features and reasons why we decided to shift to orgo workflows and uh, that's it and now amit will be giving a small uh, and a brief demo of how the kiosk engineering can be done uh, with orgo workflows in litmus kiosk thank you thanks aranya so hi everyone i am amit kumar das i am also a senior software engineer at harness and i have been contributing to litmus kiosk uh, from past 2 years and i'll be giving a short demo on how we can use argo workflows uh, with kiosk center to curate kiosk engineering so let's get started so i have installed the kiosk center uh, and uh, a banking application which is a bank of anthos application on my gk cluster so we'll try to target a few of its services which are uh, uh, like the balance reader service the transaction history service and some other services as, as well so if i uh, see like we have uh, installed the uh, bank of anthos application in the bank namespace and we have a uh, few services running here so from the kiosk center we'll uh, go to create a new scenario and uh, here we can select our agent and in the next step we can select the kiosk hub so kiosk hub is basically a marketplace where we can find a lot of experiments uh, which can be used as per a uh, user's requirement so uh, we have selected the kiosk hub option i'll provide a name here so i'll be deleting the balance reader uh, service of the bank of anthos application and here we can add the application and tune the uh, same so yeah so i have added the uh, pod delete uh, experiment and i'll try to uh, target the bank uh, namespace along with the uh, balance reader label so this will actually target the balance reader deployment which will basically delete the balance reader pod and we should see that the balance uh, uh, should not be displaying here so let's uh, let's go ahead and click next so here we can add the uh, different types of probes so i'll just uh, go with the default configuration so i'll click next and in this step we can uh, tune our kiosk experiment so i'll just uh, make some changes here i'll just uh, increase the total kiosk duration to 60 and keep uh, the other environment variables as it is and i'll just click next and in this uh, uh, step we can uh, make some advanced uh, kiosk engine engine configurations so i'll just uh, keep uh, everything as default i'll just finish this and yeah so i have uh, made some changes in my kiosk experiments that should be visible when i inject kiosk and if i want to see the manifest so i can see that uh, this is a uh, basic workflow argo workflow and we have provided several steps over here like install kiosk experiment step the pod delete step and some other metadata related to these steps so if i go to this particular step the pod delete step i can see that we have the kiosk engine and we have the uh, uh, target application details which is the bank namespace and uh, the labels that we are uh, providing to target our application as well as the uh, uh, environment variables that we have provided uh, uh, from the ui so i'll just uh, continue and uh, click next and i will uh, have an option to uh, cre uh, create a schedule now or we can also schedule it later so for this we are using the cron workflows which is also provided by argo and uh, we have several options like we can uh, tune the uh, recurring uh, flow of the cron workflow and for the for the demo i'll just uh, uh, create a current schedule uh, so i'll be scheduling it now i'll click next and uh, this is the final step where we can uh, see all the uh, details that we have provided in the previous steps so i'll just click finish and yeah so a new kiosk scenario is uh, uh, created and if i click here so we can see that the run has started and i can actually visualize the overall workflow so in this workflow we'll be targeting this uh, balance uh, reader uh, service so if i go here i can see that the balance reader service is up and running and if i go back to my uh, litmus namespace where we can see that uh, a pod delete runner has uh, been created which will actually target this balance reader uh, service so uh, we should see that this uh, balance reader pod getting terminated and yes it is happening now and if i refresh this page i should see that this uh, balance is not visible so yeah so we have successfully induced kiosk on this bank of uh, anthos application on this balance reader service if i try to add some amount like and i deposit it so this will be happening but we will not be able to see the balance so we uh, from an end user side you don't want to see 
uh, uh, transactions going on but you are not able to visualize or you, you are not able to see the overall balance so this is how uh, chaos engineering is performed uh, using uh, the litmus chaos and chaos center and uh, we are using the basic argo workflows uh, uh, to curate chaos engineering so yeah so let's uh, wait for a while to uh, uh, let this experiment complete and we can see all the logs over here uh, so these are the logs which are uh, uh, available uh, uh, with the chaos experiment yeah so we can see that uh, the workflow uh, is completed and uh, we have uh, the overall logs here we also got the chaos results like uh, the phase is completed and the verdict is passed we got the probe success per percentage and if you go back we can see that uh, the balance reader pod is back into its ready and running state and if we go back to the application if i do a quick refresh i should see the balance coming up yeah so the balance is coming up so we have successfully injected uh, chaos uh, on one of its services which is the balance reader services and yeah we can also try to uh, inject chaos on some other services as well so uh, yeah th these uh, uh, these all can be performed with uh, the chaos center of litmus chaos and so as part of the demo like we have seen how we are using argo workflows uh, as well as the cron workflows uh, to inject chaos on different microservices and uh, that was uh, uh, pretty much it from my side so thank you everyone uh, i hope uh, you all uh, liked our uh, lightning talk and yeah uh, thank you so much